Hey all, so just a few updates and use cases for my practice tools. Um, by popular demand, I've added an inventory modifier. So uh, the way this works is through the rupee counter. So um, let's say I want to give myself the hammer, which right now I don't have. Um, to initialize the inventory modifier, modifier, I hold R and press D down. Um, and now other codes are turned off. And now what I can do is I can press D up to add one to the rupee counter or D right to add 10, like so. And uh, the number I put in now is going to be which inventory slot I'm modifying. So the hammer slot is slot 15. So I'll put 15 here and then I'll hold R and press D down again to lock that in. Now I can input a new number, and that number is going to be what value I write to the slot that I've chosen. So the hammer's item number is 17, so I'm going to put 17 in here, and hold R and press D down to lock that in again. And now when I go to my inventory, you'll see that the hammer is now there. Um, another thing you can do with this is you can delete items. So let's say I want to delete uh, magic beans from my inventory, for example. Um, so the magic bean slot is slot 14. So we'll start by initializing, and then we'll add up to 14. So I'm modifying item slot 14. And now what I can do to clear out that slot, I press D left. And now when I check my inventory, you'll see the magic beans are gone. Um, and this, not only is this slot, not only is the magic bean slot, uh, set to null, but this visual slot is also set to null. So I can actually, um, equip items around and everything there. If, if that part doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Um, another thing is, let's say you accidentally put in some crazy big number, item slot, modifier, whatever, that you don't know what it does. Um, there's a panic button. You can hold L and R at the same time to cancel the inventory modification. Um, okay, now I want to talk about the entrance modifier a little bit. So at the moment, it still uses the stick nut bombs trick to determine your entrance, which is annoying, but is a little less annoying with the inventory modifier because I can just modify my stick nut bomb amount. So, um, but here's some interesting things you can do with this. Is say I want to test a Ferrarswind void warp, for example, or any, or just a regular void warp actually is fine too. Um, let me show you where my Furrow's Wind is set right now. It's right here in Fire Temple. Now let's say I want to Furrow's Wind Void Warp with this warp point, this room number and coordinates, into Deku Tree. Deku Tree's entrance is zero, so let me go ahead and set my bomb count, which is 26, inventory item slot 26 and my Deku stick count, which is 27, and um, my bomb count, which is 28. Set those all to zero, as you can see. Uh, and now if I set my entrance, which I just did, um, I will return for his wind, and I will void warp into the Deku tree with the room number and coordinates of Furrow's wind. Um, let me go ahead and turn on Moon Jump so I can get back in bounds after I void. <laughs> to be honest, I did not test this Void Warp uh, ahead of time, so I wasn't quite sure where I'd be. 
Um, but let's show off another thing I can do. If I want to do some death hole wrong warp stuff, um, I can also do that with the entrance modifier. So let's say I want to be in death hole fire temple. Um, what I can do is I can set my entrance to be outside temple of time uh, from market. So that is entrance 171. So let's go ahead and set those values. There's the first one. Oops. Oh no, that's correct. There's the second one. Or actually that should have been a 7, my bad. I want 7 Deku Nuts. And then I want one bomb. Make sure I did that correctly, 171. Uh, set my entrance, and now if I quit game, you should see I appear in Fire Temple, as expected. And I'm in Death Hole Wrong Warp mode. Um, one more thing, which I'm not going to show off, just because it takes time, is you can also do Furars in the Wrong Warps with this. Um, so say I want to do the Frozen Wrong Warp into the uh, Silver Gauntlet's cutscene, I could set my entrance to be Lost Woods from Kokiri Forest, and then simply enter the Blue Warp from Deku Tree or Dodongo's Cavern, and I'll appear in the Silver Gauntlet's cutscene.